Please do me a favor and keep fishing out there. What it do, Frick 'em Up crew? Welcome back to another daggum video. I appreciate you, yes you, for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. I'm at a beautiful creek spot that I love to fish. I've actually done some carp fishing here. We've caught some drum here before. A whole bunch of species is living in this creek. We mostly fish right here in this little pool. It gets pretty deep. All this water kind of flows in and then it spreads out. So these fish can kind of hide in certain areas and they can pick off anything that's swimming in this current. I have also headed upstream before and uh, there's a lot of shallow spots. But there's a couple deeper pools that I think we'll be able to catch some fish at today. The target species is some largemouth bass. I brought myself three setups today, one spinner and two bait casters. We have a drop shot, the old white fluke, and last but not least, a little compact jig. Beautiful little thing. These three lures are like my go-to lures for some creek fishing. The fluke might be a little interesting right now due to all this current, but once we find some like calmer places that fluke will shine that jig will be on the bottom make a lot of bottom contact while that drop shot is a little bit above the bottom suspending and kind of moving around folks i'm getting pretty antsy staring at this flowage so i think we should get into it leave it a like comment and subscribe if you enjoy some bass fishing slash creek fishing without further ado we'll see if they're biting today all the preparation for the intro finally done we're gonna start off with the old jig. See if that can't get smacked. We're gonna get into the mess of things. I gotta watch out for how deep it is though. Shoo! <laughs> the pants are wet. It's all fun and games until we hit a giant hole. That felt weird. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. Hit it on the swim, y'all. He choked it too. Dang. Little tugger boy. Jump one more time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this son. Freaking got it, dude. Wow, that was fun. The cool little creek bass. Hell yeah. Make your way back yonder, sir. That dude just kind of came out of nowhere. Try to get up in that little pocket. Ain't nothing. So, as y'all saw, I caught that fish on the swim. So now I'm kind of like trying to move this thing a lot faster than I normally would. Now that we just saw how that fish will hit it, some other ones should hit it like that too. If I had to guess. <laughs> I thought we had a big dude. That might be the whole jig gone. 
Yep, show sure enough. That's what I'm talking about. We'll catch a fish and then lose the lure. We don't prefer that, but we'll do that. I guess we'll try the flute just because it's easier and I don't want to lose my drop shot at the moment. Head back in the crevices here. That might be ridiculous. I told y'all we went upstream before, so I think we might try that today. I don't know, down there looks freaking juicy too. That's the risk we just gotta take. We can also head upstream and then I think it's gonna stop us. I mean, I could get all the way up in the water and work around where it would stop, but I don't really wanna do that today. So we could just head upstream a little bit hit them little deeper holes up there and then we'll come back down here and we'll finish off the day just in this big stretch all right fluke is being put away i think we're gonna head downstream i think we'll try that out if i got another jig i might put one of those on it too maybe like a black and blue or something other than that, cool. Beat the damn skunk. Really gotta watch out for some of these rocks though. Some of them can get pretty slimy. You kind of look around here. Could be some bass. Just kind of chilling in the current. Talk about some daggum scenery, dude. You gotta freaking love it. I don't know how deep it drops over here. Could be worth a try with the flute. Just scared something off the bank right there, dude. Damn. Dude. Dang, that would have been the second one. He wasn't too big, but... That still would have been awesome. same fish or what you got it he does <laughs> oh he had it for a minute I just didn't know if it was fully down the gullet little baby guy that's what's up we're gonna chuck this a couple more times over here. And then uh, we're just gonna keep going upstream. Oh my god. Dude, he was running so fast. Did y'all see that? Wow. He is pissed. He is pissed. Just thrashed it, dude. Yeah. That's bigger than our uh 
than the jig one all around the same size today but you can't complain catching them out of a creek that's what's up i'm trying to head upstream but if there's just a ton of bass in this little part then we might as well continue to try and that wasn't a bad one for just this little stretch right here with the fluke too see it's a lot calmer over here all that damn current down there was hard to just kind of keep the fluke in one spot now that we're in some calmer water they've been thrashing it on the stop So I'm chomping on it. Oh no. Dude, there is like a pile of fish in here. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's so much fun. That's so much fun. <laughs> That's three fish in this pool right here. That's awesome. All right, I'm probably gonna give it like three or four more casts. And then we are moving on. That's what's up. We still got some ways to walk, but that's really cool how we caught, what, four fish already? Three or four. I'm I forgot to be honest with y'all. Oh, there's a couple things swimming around in here. Daggum minnows or something. Okay, so right here, all along this bend, there's like some deep and shallow points. Uh, there could be some bass in here. We are gonna start right here. Bust out the old fluke again. That seems to be the play for today. Which, no complaints, I love catching fish on a fluke. Too much fun to see how they react to it. Should be good to go. We won't stay right here for too long, but we will try it for a minute. Yep, I don't think we're gonna stay here long at all. We're actually gonna keep the fluke out. Grab our other gear here. We'll try the spot for a little bit. Then uh, we'll head to the last deep area I know. But depending on how it's looking, we might be able to go further than I thought we were gonna. We'll just have to see. It is so hot. We're up in the heat now. That's what you want to see right there. That is what you want to see. Let's launch it over there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Dude, they're on it, man. They're on this fluke. No biggins yet, by all means, but some tugger guys. Oh, damn. Oh no, son, that felt big. Please come back for it. He did, but I missed him again, what? What? Dude, come on. We're playing games. What's going on over here? Felt that. 
Ya. Yup. That's a good one too. Yeah, dude, biggest one on the drop shot. They are on fire, dude. They are on fire. Yeah. Not bigger by a lot, but definitely our biggest one. On all the baits so far, y'all. Drop shot, fluke, and a daggum jig. All working. They got some beautiful colors on them. See you later, dude. If we start getting real snaggy areas, then we're going to stop, throw the fluke again. They are like everywhere, though. It's so cool to find them in all these spots because I've had some rough days here trying to catch some bass. And just almost all these bigger, more filled spots have some largies in them right now, and it's awesome. There's one snag. Okay, well, I tied something else on my spinner. As y'all can see, we got a little rebel crawfish crank, and we caught another one. I was just seeing if it'll wiggle good in the water and it sure did so due to battery life i think we're only going to try this area so we'll fish all of here and then we'll go down to there and then there's this log if you all can see it comes out we can't really go any further we could if we want to get soaked but i don't really want to do that yeah let's hope the gopro don't die because it's at like 35 percent I think we're gonna start with the crankbait. Just cause I literally threw it out there at that other spot and it got hit first cast. So let's see if this will catch us anything. How is there not a beefy largey around there? There's a couple stumps and trees out in the middle. And I just ran right through it and nothing. Unbelievable. You know what? I think we are going to switch it up. We got a black and blue jig with a uh, six cent stroker craw. I think that is a gill dust. So yeah, we're gonna scoot, jump, hop, skirt, everywhere with this thing. Oh. Yep. On the jig, baby. Oh my God, he's got a nasty spot taken out of him. That might be the biggest so far. I don't know, they're around the same damn size. Dude, that cut is crazy looking. Come here, Buster. Look at that. Look at that gnarly cut. That is honestly crazy looking. How beautiful. You got a friend over there I'd like to meet? And these spots are producing, dude. Every little spot I stopped at. We're gonna stealthily move on down. Try a little bit deeper with this jig and then I don't even know how much battery we got. We're still recording, so that's good. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, I goofed that up. First of all, I set it way too hard. Second of all, I wasn't even 
pulley tight on it before setting the damn hook. Jesus. He thumped it. Oh, man. He's got it again. He's got it again. Yeah. Biggest one. Biggest one. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, he cracked it. He cracked it. That ain't a bad creek bass. About a one and a half guy, maybe. On that old jig, too. Oh, gotta love hammering him with the jig. Biggest one on the jig. Best one of the day for sure. The old pound and a half guy. Gotta love him. Oh no. No, dude. No way. No way. We just had another one, man. He was just automatically swimming. I didn't even feel a bite or nothing. That was crazy. There's a fish on there. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. We're still recording too. Biggest one. Biggest one. That's like a two, two and a half. Yeah, baby. Yeah, man. Oh my God. Please keep recording. Please keep recording. Come here, come here. Come here. Ah, oh, no, don't do that. Yes, dude. What a chunky monkey. <gasps> oh. On that jig, man. He took the daggum trailer. That's good. We got him good. <sighs> Set the hook and kind of knew that was a different caliber right there. Dang, that's what's Please do me a favor and keep fishing out there.